My name is Erin, and I'm an aspiring architect. Ever since I was little, I always knew I wanted to be an architect. I loved playing with Legos and building forts and creating my own spaces wherever I went. For those of you that might not know exactly what an architect does, architects design buildings and oversee their construction. So if you're watching this video in your home, at school, or any other type of building, an architect was the one that imagined that building, created a design for how they wanted it to look, and then made the construction drawings for how it would actually be built. Architects are the ones that who decide where the interior and the exterior walls go within a building and on a site, and what the exterior of the or the outside walls are constructed of. For example, brick, wood, stucco, these are all typical building materials that architects use on the outside of buildings. I went to school for architecture after I graduated from high school and I learned how to design many of these various types of buildings that I previously mentioned, such as homes, schools, office buildings. And during my last few years of college, I worked for various architecture firms to get real world experience designing buildings that were actually going to be built because in college, you're only learning how to design buildings, but they're not actually going to be built or constructed. Although architecture does not fall directly into any of the STEM fields, it uses all four during dif different phases of designing and constructing a building. Simple math and engineering are used almost every day as an architect to ensure a building can carry the loads or the weight it needs so that the building does not fall down. Technology has become very important to the industry as almost all of the designing is now done on a computer in various programs and more specifically as we move towards sustainable design. Buildings are now being used to create their own energy using solar panels on the roof and collecting rainwater to be used throughout the building so that energy and water municipalities are not so dependent on. And technology and science are both heav very heavily used in designing the building envelope or the exterior walls to ensure that they are efficient to keep buildings at their desired temperature no matter what the temperature is outside. The sustainable design part of architecture is what I am most interested in, as it has the potential to create a much cleaner and healthier world. And this is what I am pursuing in my career. And never stop pursuing your dreams.